Hello friends, welcome to British Academy and today in this presentation we are going to prove a theorem on vectors. So the statement of the theorem is let a comma b be the two vectors then we have to prove the two conditions. The first condition is mod a plus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b and the second one is mod a minus b is greater than or equal to mod of mod a minus mod b. So first let us consider three points in a plane and name those points as A, B and C. Now join the two points A and B and let us consider the magnitude of the vector AB as A and similarly let us join BC and consider the magnitude of the vector BC as B. So in our previous videos we have already proved the triangular law of vectors which is nothing but the vector AC is equal to vector AB plus vector BC and here the vector AC is nothing but this line segment. So we know that the length of the vector AB is A and BC is B. So by substituting here we get A plus B which is the value of the vector AC. So let us write over here the length of the vector AC as A plus B and now let us name this equation as 1. And now from this triangle ABC we can conclude that the vector AB plus vector BC must be greater than or equal to to the length of the vector AC. So this statement we can also write as vector AC is less than or equal to vector AB plus vector BC. So by substituting here the values of the vector AB and BC and also from the equation 1 we get this as a plus b less than or equal to a plus b. So as these are the length of the triangle this cannot be negative. So let us apply modulus symbol on both the sides. So we get here mod a plus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b. So this is our equation 2 and we have proved the first condition and now let us prove the second condition. So first let us consider mod a and let us add and subtract b over here. So the value remains unchanged. So we get here mod a minus b plus b. So this would come as mod a less than or equal to mod a minus b plus b can be written as mod a minus b plus mod b. So this is our condition 1 that is from equation 2. Now let us transfer mod b to the other side. We get here mod a minus mod b less than or equal to mod a minus b. Now let us consider this as equation 3. Similarly let us consider mod b and let us add and subtract by a. So we get here b minus a plus a. So again from the equation 2 we can write this as mod b is equal to mod b minus a plus mod a. Now let us transfer mod a to the other side. So we get here minus of mod a plus mod b is equal to mod b minus a. Now let us take minus as a common factor on the left hand side. So we get here minus of mod a minus mod b and coming over to the right hand side again by taking minus as a common factor we get mod minus of a minus b. So we get this as minus of mod a minus mod b and we know that any negative value in the modulus symbol represents the positive value. So we get mod a minus b on the right hand side. So this is our equation 4. Now from the equation 3 and equation 4 we have mod a minus mod b is less than or equal to mod a minus b. And then again we have next equation 4 as minus of mod a minus mod b less than or equal to mod a minus b. So in both this condition we can say that the length of the triangle cannot be negative. So we can conclude from these two equations that mod a minus b is greater than or equal to mod of mod a minus mod b. So make a note of these two theorems mod a plus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b and the second one is mod a minus b is greater than or equal to 
mod of mod a minus mod b. So this is how we prove a theorem and a vectors. Hope you understood this concept. For more videos on vector algebra, visit our website British Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.